So if we want to change the way our uh, Elastic Beanstalk environment works programmatically, then the way we're going to do it is through configuration files. Now, these configuration files sit in a hidden folder called EB extensions at the root of your project. And they're going to have an extension that says .config on them. So there's going to be a variety of different ones, but that's uh, what Elastic Beanstalk expects. And what we can change to these configuration files is the option settings for our uh, initial environment. Uh, we can do things very specific to Linux and Windows. Uh, and then we can also set up custom resources. So if we need other AWS services to integrate, that's what we can do there. But the motivation of having this uh, file here is that let's say we want to hand this project to somebody else. They can just uh, provision all the things they need uh, with the exact configuration they need. So uh, this is something you'll definitely run into uh, if you're working on Elastic Beanstalk. You'll have to do a little bit of configuration.